Hello and welcome to this short video for learners and their parents or carers to use when following the GCSE Combined Science Active Book. Here we will talk you through a unit outlining how it is structured and how you can work through it using the key features to check your progress through the content. The list of contents can be found at the beginning of each book. This shows the units which are in the book. Biology units are named CB, chemistry units CC and physics units CP. For example, the first unit of biology is CB1, key concepts in biology. Each unit is broken up into topics. For example, the first topic of unit CB1 is topic CB1A, microscopes. Let's use unit CB1, key set concepts in biology, to go through the unit structure and different pages within the unit. Each unit starts with an opener page. This page introduces a topic using an interesting example. It also lists the knowledge you should have from your previous studies, as well as the key GCSE combined science points, which the unit covers. It also indicates which paper the unit covers. Now let's look at a topic page from the unit. Underneath the title of the page, you will see a list of specification points. You can check that what these are by downloading the GCSE 9 to 1 Combined Science Specification from qualifications.pearson.com. The progression questions box lists some questions which you should be able to answer by the end of the topic. This will help you focus on content from the topic. As you work through the topic, it may refer to photographs or diagrams. These will show particular applications, examples or a visual explanation of the concept the text is outlining. Key important words, those you need to understand and remember, are given in bold in the text. You will find that there are questions throughout the text. Answering these will ensure that you have understood the ideas given in the text immediately before the question and help you understand where you might have to do more work. The symbol at the side of the questions will give you an idea of difficulty of the question. Generally, they become harder as you work through the topic. On some pages, you may find different types of text. Here on CB1A microscopes, there is a did you know box, which gives an interesting fact which is associated with the topic page. At the end of the topic, there is always a box. These are to check your progress through the topic and against the progression questions at the beginning. If you feel confident that you have understood the topic, you can answer the extend question. If you feel you need further work to be able to confidently answer the progression questions at the beginning, then try the strengthen question. In addition to this, there is always an exam style question, which helps you practice the style of question you may meet in an exam. These questions indicate the number of marks that a question would be worth. Sometimes one of the topics in a unit may be a core practical. You may have carried this out, this practical out in school. However, in order to try the exam style questions, you don't need to have completed the practical. These are in the style of exam questions and give you the number of marks each question would be work. They are often supported by diagrams or photos. Some topics contain higher level content, which is clearly marked on the page in an orange box with an H. You only need to cover this content and the questions associated with it if you are following the higher tier in the specification. The specification points, higher content relates to the two are shown in the specification box by an H symbol.
Each unit ends with a preparing for your exams page. This page gives the type of question you might meet in an exam on the content. The question is followed by an answer that a student might write. Following this, there is a commentary on the answer given. This includes information on what is good in the answer and where the answer could be improved to gain higher marks. An exam tip may also be given. We hope you enjoy using GCSE 9 to 1 combined science and that it helps inspire you with real world engaging science, fascinating facts, examples and activities to help you make progress in your learning.